uh, Kariotahi Beach, KT as some people call it. And uh, you're probably wondering what is he doing on a beach with a big game reel? Uh, we're kite fishing. So today we brought the Flexi Wing kite out with us and uh, we're, we're just deploying our first set now. Fresh mullet, uh, we're doing six hooks and uh, I'll tell you what, it's flying out there beautifully. We've got the easterly winds with a bit of northerly in them, so hopefully that means the snapper are going to be on the feed. And uh, we're looking at doing about two sets today. So first set's on its way out there beautifully. diagram showing the rig that Caleb's using. It's really important to have a combined kite line drop line length over 120 metres to ensure that the kite's flying at a decent altitude. So we're just pulling it in now. Um, hopefully you can hear me over the wind. But I'm using the Penn 9 Burrow Senator. Um, holds about 1100 metres, 80 pound spectrum. And that's ideal for what we're doing here. Or if you want to make life really easy for yourself, make up one of these babies or get us to make one for you. They are incredible. The bolt at the bottom holds the rod absolutely rigid. Your weight sitting on it prevents anything from moving. It needs to be fitted fairly carefully to the chili bin, but this makes life unbelievably easy. Any problems with your back, you can still sit on here and wind this thing in all day. at the reward end of it so yeah we're at the club we can see the flag hopefully behind it there's some beautiful looking fish So, yeah, yeah. So, um, we did our first set just out behind the breakers, about 750 meters, and um, we left it out there for about an hour. We went back in, we had a cowboy on, and, and pretty much the rest of our baits were untouched. So, we thought, okay, we'll stick it out a bit further, um, and we'll, we'll leave it out for a bit longer. So, we left it out for an hour and a half. Our kite rigs are used all around the world. In Hawaii, they've caught yellowfin tuna mahi mahi and sailfish on them. The rigs are pretty interesting uh, and they're fishing from fairly high ground and getting well offshore. If you want to do the same thing for snapper and just cast another line out, that's the route to do it. If you want to troll, just modify the terminal tackle, piece of cake. Equally, if you want to fish over reefs or you're not sure of what kind of bottom you're on, make up a rig like this. The sinker will be mid-water on the way out, mid-water on the way back in, and only on the bottom when it's out there, so you minimise your chance of snag. So that's the end of our day today. Uh, it's been a real wet one, but um, we did manage to get a snapper up on the sand, and that was the goal today. Um, remember, to get a, a, a long line out there, six hooks, what we use today, is not very hard. Um, hand spools, got your dropper rig on it, thousand, anything that can hold a thousand meters of line that you can basically use as a winch is what you want for your main line. And then uh, a really, really reliable kite. So uh, yeah, if you're interested, give us a message, 
uh, jump on our page. We've got a huge range of kite fishing, contiki fishing, boat long lining, surf casting and general fishing tackle in store. So if you want to learn how to catch fish in your area, give us a call, contact us through the website or drop in and see us in store. We'll be only too happy to see you.